This is an Okudo Suita. Uh, just a tremendous stone, nice and thick. Weighs a couple pounds. Has a nice light color finish to it when you put water on it. It turns sort of buff like that. There's areas of Renge in here. And a nice uh, foggy pattern. The Okudo mine was just right next to the Nakayama mine, which also has the stones tend to have a foggy pattern. So this is a traditional laminated Japanese kana blade with hard steel and wrought iron body with just clear water. This is the kind of cutting axe you get. This stone is just so smooth. There's no skipping. Moderately hard. Self slurries and the slurry right away becomes really dark. Tremendous cutting power on the stone. And a stone like this can leave a nice hazy finish on your counter blade. The contrasting between the Hagane and the Jigane. Let me rinse this stone off. And if you want to use it, another technique, you can use uh, Nagra white nagara to raise a slurry or you can even use a tomo nagara to raise a slurry on some of these stones. So let's use this tomo nagara or this uh, aichi nagara. We have a little bit of a slurry there which is made up partly from the base stone and partly from particles given up by the piece of nagara. So here again you can see uh, quite a lot of black forming in the slurry. At first I could feel the alternate grit particles from the Nagara. Now they've sort of blended in and have broken down. So there's a lot more uh, smooth feeling on the stone. Once again let me rinse off the blade and the stone. And if I bring in a diamond plate, especially worn out diamond plate, to raise a slurry. So the slurry is made up 100% of this base stone. I've removed maybe a few microns of stone from the top. Here again we have, a, this is like a milky, creamy slurry. Beautiful feeling under the blade. You can see the black starting to turn dark now. I could probably use the same slurry for five to ten minutes because it's starting to regenerate or energize slurry build up from the base stone. So. A slurry that matches, a nagara that matches, will help to encourage the base stone to provide a certain amount of slurry too. If you were just sharpening with a five dollar piece of nagara and a hundred dollar piece of of base stone, you know, good as an example, and you're Slurry stone, your $5 slurry stone is providing all the cutting action. Well, you end up with a $5 polish on your blade. But if your stone provides, at some point, the majority of the slurry, I start out with just a little bit of slurry from the diamond plate, and look what I ended up with. And uh, look, at, look at the matte finish on this blade now. It's all even and 
really pure and really nice bright polish chrome polish to the to the mahogany steel so there's three ways to use a stone 